February is heart month, and this much you should know. When you have chest pain, call your doctor or 911. But what if you live in a small town and the help you need quickly is miles away in the big city? A new program in the Fox Cities puts rural hospitals in direct touch with bigger hospitals that specialize in cardiac care. To show you how it works, we followed along during a mock drill. And you may notice that we use these small video cameras to catch all the action, even in some tight spaces. City Police 911. Yes, I'm calling from the Chamber of Commerce, and mm -hmm. we have someone here with chest pains. Could you please send an ambulance right away? She's what you are witnessing is not pain. real, but it could be. Cheryl is playing the role of patient. If she was really having a heart attack, these paramedics would be starting the process of saving her life. A couple bumps going in. As quickly as possible, they're off to the hospital. I'm riding along in the ambulance with the paramedics and the patient. Everyone has time on their minds. They do here in the ambulance, also back at the hospital. And at my count, on my watch, it's been 16 minutes since that 911 call was made. But it's here at the hospital that time really starts to matter. It's often called door to balloon time, the time a patient gets to the hospital to actually getting their blocked artery open. And the goal is 60 to 90 minutes. Time is muscle. If you lose time, if you increase that time factor, muscle gets destroyed, heart attack can be bigger. First, the team determines if the patient is a code STEMI. Code STEMI is a, a kind of a quick word for a heart attack that's in the making. We can determine that by looking at the EKG. If there's an elevated portion of the ST segment, that's where we get the name, that enacts the code STEMI. Our patient has now been here for six oh, minutes. Code STEMI. And with those words, Theta Care's new remote STEMI program is put into motion. You see, here in Shano, there's no cath lab, and our patient needs catheterization. Remote STEMI puts rural hospitals in northeast Wisconsin on speed dial to Theta's dispatch center. Hi, I'm Ann's Melissa calling from Shuttle Medical Center ER. We have a code STEMI. As Theta Star and the flight team make their way to Shawano, the team at Appleton Medical Center is getting ready. Remote code STEMI by air ETA 15 minutes. Meanwhile, Theta Star lands in Shawano with 22 minutes on the clock. Her pressure was good and her heart rate's been fine. The flight nurses take over and care for the patient is seamless. During the flight, the patient is fitted with a headset. So communication is constant from nurse to patient, from chopper to ER. The flight to Appleton Medical Center takes 18 minutes. By the time we land and the patient is wheeled into the cath lab, the clock is now at 64 minutes. I'm going to give you some numbing medicine in the room. Here's where cardiologist Dr. Kaloon Alizwad takes over. The minute the patient feels chest pain, chest pressure, the minute we realize it is a heart attack, we should activate the system and that's what we do. We activate the system and uh, we have to achieve our target. It takes the doctor just seven minutes to administer pain medication, insert the time. catheter to the blockage and inflate the balloon. 77 minutes total time to restore blood to our patient's heart. Dr. Alizwa describes the remote STEMI program only in its third year as a well-oiled machine. It is very effective. We are actually in the top 2% in the nation. With cooperation with our partners in the rural areas, we were able to achieve door-to-balloon time in the majority of cases less than 90 minutes. So who does this affect? Patients living in these rural communities are all part of Theta's remote STEMI program. Ripon, Berlin, New London, Wild Rose, Wapaka, Shawano, and Chilton. And that 90-minute goal comes from recommendations by both the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology. Symptoms of a heart attack are wide-ranging, so please visit our website later today for a closer look at those. Wow, a lot of action in there, I'll tell you. <laughs> It's that's, quick, and they intense. move so quickly, and it is, you know, just, and it's not just one person. It was all those people yeah. that were on the same page to save that one person. Now, what about the cost? Does insurance cover something like that? Well, it's, it's hard to pinpoint the cost because it depends on what services were used in that particular case. But I checked on the Internet. It ranges from, it's costly, 10000 to 20000 uh, You should check with your provider if insurance covers it. Our provider says the flights are covered oh. at 90% with no deductible. Oh. So it's costly, 
but it's often covered. And what if there's no helicopter available? Yeah, that can happen. I mean, with weather, yeah. weather can be so bad that the flight can't take off or they might be on another emergency. Many paramedics, not just the ones in Shano, and they are, they're trained to recognize that code STEMI in the field, then they can bypass the local hospital and go right to a hospital that has a cath lab. Oh. And those are all over. I mean, Oshkosh has cath labs, Green Bay does too. So um, yeah, the, the care is improving every year. A training exercise, but it sure did look real. Yes, it was a training <laughs> exercise. I'm glad you pointed that out.